Hello friends, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we will learn the procedure to install Network Policy Server. NPS allows us to enforce network policies of the organization to the client computers. Network administrators can configure network access protection on NPS server. Through NAP, they can create network policies based on system health, software and system update requirement and enforce them on the client computers in the network. In the first part of this two-part video series, I will be covering NAP integration with THCP service. So in this video, we will only prepare our lab for NAP integration with DHCP server. So first, let's install both DHCP server role as well as network policy and access service role. So for that, you have to open the server manager and on server manager console, let's click on add roles and features. On before you begin page, click on next. Now on uh, select installation type, we have to select role base or feature base installation and then click on next. On the screen, you have to select the server on which you are planning to install the server role. And for this demonstration, we are using our domain controller to install DHCP and NPS server role. So let's select our local server and then click on next. Now on the screen, we have to select the server role which we are going to install. So let's select DHCP server. Let's click on add feature to add features that are required for THCP server. And then we have to select network policy and access services. Let's again click on add feature to add features that are required for network policy and access services. Once you select DHCP server and network policy and access service server rule, click on next. We do not uh, need any additional features, so let's leave it to default and click on next. On the screen, you can uh, see a brief overview information about DHCP server. Let's uh, click on next. And on the screen, you can see a brief overview information about network policy and access services. Let's click on next. On the screen, you can select a role service, which is offered by network policy and access services. In this demonstration, we are only going to install network policy server. Let's click on next. Now click on install to start the installation process. So as you can see, the installation is uh, succeeded on our local server. We now need to complete DLCV post installation configuration task. So let's click on complete TSCP configuration. Let's click on next. Now on this computer, already a login as a domain administrator. That's why we are going to use our administrator's credential to authorize DHCP service in Active Directory. So select first options and then click on commit. Now let's uh, click on close and click on close to close this console as well. Now our next step is configure DHCP server rule. So let's open DHCP management console. Let's click on tools, select DHCP. Expand our server name. That is SRT hyphen DC01 in our case, expand IP version 4 and right click on it and select new scope. Click on next on welcome wizard. On this console, I'm going to specify the scope name. You can specify the scope name as per your comment. Click on next. Now here, I'm going to specify the address range of our DHCP scope. 192.168, 49.22, 192.168. Forty-nine dot two hundred. We'll use default subnet mask slash twenty-four. Let's click on next. We are not going to add any IP addresses to exclude from DHCP scope. Let's click on next. Lease will be six hours, and click on next. Yes, we want to configure DHCP options right now. So select first, and then click on next. Now on the screen, I'm going to add a uh, gateway's IP address. In my case, that is 192.168.49.1. Let's click on add. Let's click on next. Now on the screen, you have to specify your uh, domain suffix. So in our case, that is mylab.local and the IP address of our DNS server is 192.168.49.5. If you have a multiple DNS server and if you want to add any other IP address of DNS server, that time you can add it from here. Let's click on next. You do not have a win server, so that's why I'm just clicking on next. Now on the screen, it will ask you, do you want to activate this scope right now? By default selected options is yes. I want to activate this scope right now. So let's click on next. And click on finish 
to complete the new scope creation wizard. Okay, let's expand our scope. Now, uh, this is your address pool 20 to 200. And right now, we do not have any TSP client that get an IP address from our TCP server. So now, let's move to our Windows 7 computer. So this is our Windows 7 computer and this computer is a part of our domain Malibu Local. And right now, I assign a static IP address to this Windows 7 computer. So let's change to obtain IP address automatically from DHCP. So select your adapter. Right click on it and select properties, select IP version 4, select properties and select obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. Let's click on OK and let's click on close. Right click on adapter again, select status, click on detail and as you can see this time we got an IP address from our DSCP server and the IP address is 192.168.49.20. Let's come back to our DSCP server and refresh on DSCP management console. Now as you can see we have a one address list for our client SRT-CLI02. Okay so now our DSCP server is ready and we want to integrate NAP with our DSCP server. Let's close this DSCP management console and now let's click on tools and let's open network policy server. Okay, this is a screen from where we can configure NAP and we can also configure a CDF server. In the next part of this video series, we'll see how we can configure network access protection and how we can use NAP to integrate with DSCP server. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.